Buckley cheddar soup is one of my all time favorite soups. Creamy, cheesy soup that is full of fresh broccoli and oozing flavor. It's just so comforting. I'm going to show you how you can make a big pot of this delicious soup in just 30 minutes. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper. I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make, like this broccoli cheddar soup. You can whip up a pot full in less time than it takes to get that takeout. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so for our broccoli soup, we need to get some of our vegetables cooking first. So to a nice big soup pot, I'm going to add a stick of butter. I know, sounds like a lot, but this makes a lot of soup. You're going to have a lot here. So feel free, if you just have a small family, feel free to have this recipe. It's so much easier um, to make it in smaller quantities. Just cut all the ingredients in half. So we're gonna wait for that butter to melt, and then we'll move forward. Okay, so our butter is just about melted. I'm gonna move forward. I'm going to add a diced onion right in there. And two diced carrots. Now you want them cut about the same size and the size really doesn't matter because you're not going to be eating whole pieces of this carrot. We're going to blend it up. So we're just gonna cook these for a few minutes until they soften up a bit. And I'm going to season my vegetables with just a pinch of house seasoning. I like to season as I go so that everything has flavor. Okay, so our vegetables have softened a bit. We're going to add a little bit of flour to the pot. This is going to start to make a roux. It's gonna mix with that butter and it's gonna be one of the thickeners that we use. Or it's going to be the thickener that we use, not one of them, it is the thickener. You want it to form like a nice little paste around the onions and the carrots. Now it's okay that the carrots aren't soft yet. It's gonna continue to cook, so don't worry about that. So we have a nice, nice pasty mixture here, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now to this, we're going to add two different types of dairy. I'm going to add some milk. I'm going to add some half and half. And then, because this is a warm uh, soup, like it, it's like a warm sensation soup, I'm gonna add just a hit of nutmeg to kind of bring all that warmth together. So I'm gonna stir that in. All right, just get that nutmeg stirred in a bit. Now to this, we're going to add the star of our show. Broccoli. So I've cut a few heads of broccoli into florets. Don't worry about the stems. Like I said, we're blending this up. So you can go ahead and just dump all of that in. That's why I said we need a big soup pot. And I like to just push it all down so it's getting under that milk and cream. And we're going to bring this up to a simmer and let it do its thing. All those onions off there. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, some of our house seasoning. We wanna season everything as we go so that our soup has lots of flavor. Okay, so our soup looks like it is done. It is thickened up beautifully from that flour and just the cooking down of the dairy. The next step is to use our immersion blender. We're gonna go ahead in and blend everything up. This is why I like to do this in a stainless steel pot. I don't like to use my immersion blender in my nonstick. I kind of go in and out because I want to leave some chunky, but I want to make sure most of it is blended up. So I just kind of place it around, stirring it as I go. Oh, this is beautiful. I love how this turns a beautiful shade of green with the little orange flecks from the carrots. I just love this soup. Okay. 
put that aside. Okay, so our soup is blended. I'm gonna go in for just a quick taste just to see if we need any more seasoning in there. Mm. It could use a little more, a little more of the all-purpose blend in there. If you don't have an immersion blender, you could just as easily use a blender. Just if you want your soup chunkier, just go nice and slow and don't fill your blender uh, vessel up to the top because the hot liquid will cause an overflow. We're good on the flavor. One last thing we need to add, this is a broccoli cheese soup. We need to add our cheese. So I have three cups of shredded cheddar. I like to shred my cheddar myself instead of using the packaged stuff. I just find that it melts nicer that way. So you're going to put that in and stir it around. You wanna make sure you do that after you blend it. And that soup is so hot, the cheese just melts right away. But you'll see when we scoop it out, it's definitely there. All right, we have waited long enough. I have waited long enough. I'm going in for a taste of this deliciousness. Nice big ladle, fill up my crock, but just look at how you can see the strings of cheese. Oh yeah, pure deliciousness. Let's go in. Mm. Oh, this soup is so delicious. It's like a warm hug on a cold day. Absolutely divine. Now, if you, I like my soup thick, so this is a pretty thick soup. If you find that it's too thick or when you have leftovers, it tends to thicken up in the fridge, you can easily add some stock, either vegetable or chicken stock to thin it out when you, um, when you serve it. And of course, I forgot the most important part. How did I forget this? We need to put sprinkle of cheese on top. Extra cheese. Guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I just got caught up in all this broccoli deliciousness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, and what would you put on top? Croutons, bacon. I like to serve it with ham inside. So many things you could put on this. Let me know in the comments. Look at that cheese. Mm -hmm. This broccoli cheddar soup is definitely a keeper. So I like to add leftover ham, but what would you add? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want another one of my all-time favorite soups, make sure you check out my homemade pasta fajoule. Thanks for joining me today. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.